Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix enable to verify update. If you want to download iOS 16, then it's showing there enable to verify update. And you are trying to update your iPhone or iPad to the latest version like iOS 16. And if it's showing this type of error, then I'll show you how can you fix it. Just simply close this page. And firstly, what you need to do is just simply open settings and then you have to scroll it on and then you have to tap on general. Again, scroll it down from here and then you have to tap on VPN and device management. Now from here, what you need to do is just simply remove your first profile, which you have downloaded. So you have to remove your profile from here. Again, tap on remove and your profile will be removed from your phone and then check whether your problem has been fixed or not. And if the problem is there, then what you need to do is just simply open settings again, scroll it down from here, tap on general, again, scroll it down and then you have to tap on iPhone storage. And from here, make sure that if storage is available in your phone, and after that, check whether your form has been fixed or not. And if the problem is there, then what you need to do is just simply open settings again, and then you have to make sure that you have connected with the internet. So you have to tap on mobile data. And from here, if you're using mobile data, then you have to turn the toggle off for at least uh, 30 seconds and then turn it on and then check whether your form has been fixed or not. And if you are using Wi Fi, then what you need to do is just simply open Wi Fi, and then you have to turn off your Wi Fi and then turn it on. And from here, you have to make sure that if your problem has been fixed or not and if your problem is there then what you need to do is just simply open settings again and then you have to turn the toggle on for aeroplan mode at least for the 60 second and then turn it off and then go back and then check whether your problem has been fixed or not and if the problem is there then what you need to do is just simply open settings scroll it down tap on general and then you have to tap on date and time from here and from here make sure that you have selected correct time zone from here and after that what you need to do is just simply turn the toggle on for set automatically and then go back and then you have to open settings again and then you have to tap on general from here again scroll it on and then you have to tap on transfer or reset iphone again tap on reset and from here you have to reset your network setting and after that check whether your form has been fixed or not and if the one is there then what you need to do is just simply open settings again then you have to tap on general scroll it down all the way and then you have to tap on transfer or reset iphone again tap on reset and from here you have to reset all setting so this will reset all setting no data or media will be deleted so after doing that what you need to do is just simply restart your device so after doing all these things hopefully your problem will be fixed so that's it guys for today's video if the video is helpful please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching